Hey guys, it's James here, and I'm joined with Jay Lynn from J Ray Games. Hey. And today we are going to talk about something pretty awesome how to get your PlayStation VR headset hooked up to pretty much any game that uh, you may want to play on your PC or in your Steam VR library. Um, I don't know if you're like me, when I bought my PSVR, the first thing I wanted to play was games like Skyrim and and Fallout and, and all these great games. And it just hasn't happened yet. The developers haven't caught up. So this is your best alternative to playing those games on your PC until a VR version of them come out. All right. Um, so the software that we're going to be using that kind of does all the magic is called Trinus PSVR. All right. And um, just jumping on their website here, Trinus makes an excellent software. It's a, it runs as a server on your computer. You can use your smartphone for things like Google Cardboard and um, and uh, Gear and that but uh, we're interested in the PlayStation VR version now there is a free version of this software um, I think it has a 15 minute limit or something along those lines um, I bought the software it's 10 bucks it works fantastic and you know support the developers they're trying to make things work for us and um, I encourage it. it's only 10 bucks um, anyway so you download that um, and as it'll say, it works with Steam VR games and with non-VR games. And so you would download it right here. And if you buy it, you'll get a code to activate it. And I'm just going to run the program. It's right here on my desktop, Trinus PSVR. Basically, what Trinus does is it tricks the computer into thinking that your PSVR is an HTC Vive, which means that it's going to work with all the games that are compatible with HTC Vive as well as ones that aren't, so uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, and when you open this for the first time, you're probably going to come to this screen right here, and it basically shows you the hookup of taking your PSVR and hooking it up to your PC. Now, it's super easy, super straightforward, um, and you can see that for the most part, it's exactly like hooking it to your PS4. Um, but anyways, you got to have your controller box. It's very important. Uh, power supply. And then your USB goes to the USB on your computer, and the PS4 HDMI goes instead to the HDMI port on your video card. Very important that you pick your video card and not your standard HDMI port, otherwise it won't work. It needs the graphics card to, uh, to work. There's also another output to a TV. If you have one, you want to share what you're seeing with people that are maybe in the room or whatever. So that's an optional port to use as well. Basically when you hook up your PS4, uh, sorry, PSVR to your computer, it's going to act as an extended display. It's going to project whatever you see on the screen or on your extended display into the headset. It's not going to be a stereoscopic image, it's going to be a flat image which looks really weird when you put it on your, your head. But uh, Trinus is what's going to take over and allow you to uh, actually see the the VR image all right so without further ado once that's all hooked up I'm going to press the power button on my headset to turn it on you're gonna hear a beep all right my screen's probably gonna flicker in a second here and it's turning on that little flicker I don't know if it showed up in the video but um, that was the extended display becoming active. And um, before we go any further, uh, what you're going to need to install if you want to play Steam VR games, you're going to have to install Steam VR. And so if you have Steam on your computer, I'm going to just go to mine down here. If I go to Steam and I right click, you'll see the option. Come on. My mouse is acting weird. But you should see the option to, um, to install PSVR. All right, I've already got it on, sorry, Steam, v, uh, Steam VR. I've already got it on my desktop here. Now it seems to be working. There we are, Steam VR. And uh, it'll go through an install process, and you're going to need to get that going. Once you have Steam VR installed, 
you're going to go to the install tab of Trinus and you're going to install the Steam VR driver. Now, excuse me. That driver is what tricks Steam into thinking that you have the HTC Vive connected. All right, that's what allows you to play those Steam VR games. And like I said, who doesn't want to be able to use their headset for more than, you know, the PlayStation? I mean, to have the option of using the entire Steam VR library plus other games, is it's awesome. All right, so once you've got that all hooked up and installed, um, we're going to go to the main part of the uh, Trinus here, and you're going to see the modes. All right, so if we're playing a game that's on Steam VR, we choose Steam VR as the mode. If we're playing a game that just replicates the mouse movements because most first person games the mouse controls your eyes alright so what it does is, is basically uses the headset to control your mouse then we would choose that so I'm gonna choose Steam VR for this first one just to show you how it works and a um, couple other options here side by side that's for the mouse movements we'll talk about that IPD that's the distance between your eyes alright and that's very important otherwise the image may look blurry all right, and we're going to talk about a couple other things here in a second once we get it up and running. But what you want to do is you want to take your headset and you want to put it on a flat surface. Okay, so I'm going to put it down on a flat surface just like that. And I'm going to click Start. And when I do that, you're going to see it says Calibrating Sensors. It's very important that I don't touch my headset right now. Make sure that it just stays exactly as it was. Now... One thing I didn't mention here is that it, it would be good to actually center the headset with your view. So if I center this with my screen, like this, and I put it on a uh, flat surface, it's going to center it for whatever game I'm going to be playing or whatever. It's going to be positioned properly. So let's just reset that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it and uh, start it again. Here we go. And calibrating sensors. And it's done. All right, so it's now hooked up. Now, before we do anything else or before we go any further, um, we need to set up the actual VR um, in Steam VR. We have to set up the room that it's going to be using. And so the way you do that is in Steam VR, uh, we'll get that working in a second here. We'll load it up. Steam VR on the desktop. I'm going to double click that, get it loaded up. Make sure this is running. Steam VR loads up. And we should see a stereo graphic image like we see here with two screens. And that's what we would see in the headset. So if I pick up the headset, you should see that it starts to move. All right, because it is detecting movement in the headset. Now you might be asking, how is this working without a camera? Um, it works off the gyroscope inside of the headset. You can hook up your PlayStation camera or even just any camera, webcam, whatever, and um, the program Trinus will do positional tracking as well. However, for most things, this gyroscope works awesome. It's good enough. All right, so you can now see that it's working. However, we need to set up our room for VR. All right, you'll notice right now I can't get out of this window, so I have to hold Alt and Tab. I have to switch out of it to get back to my Steam. All right, just like that. And I'm going to run a room setup. So I'm in VR. Okay, VR stats. I'm going to right click. I'm going to run room setup. Okay, it's very important for the first time. You're going to need to do this. After that, you won't have to worry about it. So it's going to ask you are you setting up for a room? Are you tracking your movements? Or are you doing standing only? And, and for just a camera, or sorry, just a headset. We don't have any base stations here. We're just going standing only. All right, and it'll go to the next screen in a second. It's going to set it up. And it's going to ask you to place it in a location visible to the base stations. Well, we don't have base stations. Uh, we're just using the headset, so we're going to hit next. It says calibrate the center. And again, this may not work without cameras, but I put it to my chest like this, and I calibrate the center. That centers the camera. We're going to hit next. This one's very important. This determines your height within the games that you're playing. All right, so they recommend you take an actual tape measure, measure to the floor. I'm going to put in the number. I already know what it is, 30.5 in my case. 
and I'm going to calibrate the floor. Like I said, this is very important because this determines the height of your character in the game that you're playing. Okay, so very important. And you hit next. And now your setup is complete. And you got these dancing little guys <laughs> having a good time. And it means that it's good to go. All right? So you're going to hit done. All right, and it brings us back to the stereoscopic image of this grid. And again, I can pick it up and I can move it just by moving the headset. I'm going to get Jalen to put this on. And um, I'm going to run a game that would run through Steam. Now, one thing very important. Right now, she's not seeing anything inside there. Yeah, I see your desktop. She sees my desktop. And what we need to do is we need to send this headset window to the d extended display. The way we do that is we activate it. And we press Shift, Windows, Left. And now we've sent it into the headset. We can now see our desktop once again. But we have extended the display now to her headset. So she can now see that three-dimensional grid that we just saw on the screen. All right, now let's play a game. Um, I have another video um, showing how to get Minecraft working with this. So let's do Minecraft. We know it's going to work. And um, so I'm going to just go to my VR games, and I'm going to load up Minecraft. And Minecraft, we are using a mod called Vivecraft. And there's another video for that. You can follow that if you want to get it working. Um, but this sends Minecraft to uh, Steam VR. We'll just play it. And Jalen should be in a second seeing... Once it loads up, she should be seeing the Minecraft world load into her headset. It's just loading. Don't worry. Okay. You still see the grid? Yeah. And that? Okay. All right. So this just take a second to load. And once it loads, come on. <laughs> Taking a little longer than usual. Here we go. And now she's inside Minecraft VR. And as you can see that... Yeah. Behind you know what? Why don't you turn around? Turn around. Look at the menu. And this is a good example of where you may have to reset your view. Uh, you can see that she... The, the view in this case is behind her. Sometimes that happens. Easy to fix. Just go to Trinus. Reset the view. And now she'll turn around and the view will be where it's supposed to be. Now the nice thing about this is it gives you this little window on your desktop where you can actually control with the mouse and um, you know it still gives you some control. I can mirror what she sees here as well. So she sees the whole world of VR. We see what she sees in the mirror view. Right, so that's awesome. I'm going to close it and we're going to go try something else. Now I'm going to close Minecraft. And you should be back in your grid view yeah. now, right? Okay, cool. Now, like I said, the nice thing about Trinus is that we don't have to just play VR games. We can play regular games. We can play Skyrim. We can play Grand Theft Auto. We can play all these games that weren't ever meant for VR. And uh, we can still play it through the headset. So I'm going to switch to mouse view now. And like I said, as with most games that are first person, um, your head movements are what control where you view, or sorry, where you look. So uh, Trinus is basically simulating the head movements, and if you look, she is controlling the mouse on the keyboard with her head. All right, and that's basically how it works in the VR world as well. Her head movements choose where she looks. Okay, now keep your head very still, okay? We're going to leave this like this, um, but this time we're going to change the way that it displays. Now she's going to get a bit of a headache going in a second here. But we're going to go display settings. This time, instead of extending our displays, we're going to duplicate our displays. She's going to get a headache in, Ow. yeah, right now. So right. try to like maybe close your eyes yeah, or whatever. I can, like, I can see myself. <laughs> and I'm going to close off Steam VR because I don't need, I don't need Steam VR when I'm uh, when I'm doing this. So just let that close in a second here. All right, mm -hmm. keep your head still. Because you're controlling my mouse right now. Jill, you're controlling my mouse. Sorry. I said, keep your head still and move it more. Sorry. Okay. So we're just going to quit Steam VR. And instead now, with this display duplicated, I'm going to run 
Grand Theft Auto. Now, I would never let her play Grand Theft Auto, especially not in its, you know, raw form. But uh, I'm just going to show you that it does work, and it, it is amazing, actually. So I'm going to run up, Grand, uh, load up Grand Theft Auto. By the way, I'm going to have another tutorial on how to get Grand Theft Auto working perfectly. And I say perfectly, I say it's as good as it's going to get until Rockstar actually releases a VR mode. It is awesome. All right, same with Skyrim. They're amazing VR games. All right, yeah. so let's just get this loaded up. Now she's going to see um, the same thing on her headset because it is mirroring what is shown on my desktop. She probably even sees us in the corner. You see us uh, in the yeah, corner? Yeah, I can yeah. see us. Okay, so you're going to have to try to ignore that. Um, I have a little mod working here, and I'm going to talk about that in my, um, in my GTA setup video in the future but I'm going to just get it set up for her so that she sees the image all right she should be seeing it aside from the fact that she sees us in the corner but uh, you're seeing some of this right I can see a girl yeah with the phone yeah yeah awesome okay so as you can see this is running a little bit differently what I'm doing on my screen is I am showing it in stereoscopic view and her head is what's controlling the mouse movements. It's not going to an extended display. In this case, it's actually displaying on screen and we're mirroring the same thing into the headset, which sets it up perfectly for VR. It's going to look a little weird for her because we've got the uh, webcam running in the corner. But without that, it is perfect. It's flawless. We're going to see in a second here as she goes into Franklin's body, that she's going to control exactly what Franklin is looking. All right, there you go. See, hands off. That she is controlling where Franklin is looking, and uh, we can control where she goes. Right. So I'm going to share all of that. Now, like I said, basically this takes the you still need to use either a controller or a keyboard to do the actual thing. Uh, it's uh, Anyways, so you can see that this works pretty well.